Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and I have a recap video for you guys or should I say a preview recap? I don't know, it depends on how you look at it. But we're talking Temptation Island finale. It is tomorrow and they left us with a cliffhanger with the couple, LaSalle and Ashley. And remember both Ashley and LaSalle have other people that they've built somewhat of a connection with, such as Trace. So it seems like it's been uh, a pretty great experience for both of these two with the LSLs and Ashley. But yeah, it's time for them to make a decision and come to terms on whether or not they're going to stay together, leave and go separately with their lives or choose to stay with one of the people that they made a connection with. So before we jump into this video, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash that like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So I'm not going to waste any more time with this intro. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So as you guys remember with both uh, Ashley and LaSalle, they have been in a seven year relationship. Uh, they both came to the island feeling like their relationship was lacking both emotional and intellectual co uh, connection, as well as missing the romance. Now with Ashley, she said coming to the island, she wanted to marry LaSalle, but we're lacking our own independence, lacking gratitude toward each other, and lacking the romance. And LaSalle's also kind of, you know, ditto the same sentiment by saying Ashley and he were very complacent before coming to the island. They really didn't challenge each other, both intellectually and emotionally. And he said that he and Ash came on there to work on their independence. But... As we can see, their independence turns into falling for someone else. So um, here's the thing. So when they came to the island, one of the things that we did see with LaSalle is that he quickly formed a connection with Trace. Now, Ashley, she moved a little bit slower in that department, but she eventually warmed up to Blake. And she was talking about how Blake definitely taught her how to be in her emotions and how to feel it. And, you know, even Trace on the other side of this thing, uh, before saying goodbye to the sales, you know, saying that they feel like they're in an amazing place. And, you know, again, and I hope that uh, you make a good decision in the end. And we saw that he did reassure her that he was going to follow through with that. 100 percent now um you know with driving to the bonfire you know um lasalle he did some reflecting and so did ashley um but with lasalle he did a lot of reflecting about trace so one of the things that he did say was the fact that Trace and, and he had hit a lot of speed bumps, but he was super thankful for having those experiences with her and that it's going to be hard for him to say where his relationship would, with Ashley would go. Um, anything can happen at the bonfire. And this is where he, at this point, needed to do some serious thinking. And then as we saw with Ashley, she went into that fi final bonfire extremely nervous but she was determined not, I mean, to not go back with LaSalle. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it was pretty interesting because it seemed like he knew exactly what he was going to do and what he was going to say. So they finally ended up at the bonfire. And, you know, this whole conversation that they had, um, you know, he said, I know what I want to say and what I'm going to say but when you have to look someone in the eye and tell them how you feel it's another thing coming 
Um, he went on to thank Ashley for bringing him to the island, express how much he loved and cared for her while simultaneously kind of expressing his gratitude for Trace. Um, so, you know, all of that, I guess he was just trying to smooth this over about how happy the journey was and thank you for bringing me here. And he talked about how many times um, he cried. He said that he cried maybe 15 times. It took me to get out of our relationship for me to be like, man, why do I feel this way? Um, he went on talking about how he invested knowing, you know, that he, she was going to be doing the same thing. He found that he had a lot of growth with Trace and how amazing, you know, uh, Trace is as a person and how Trace challenged him to become a better version of himself. And he was hoping that Ashley had the same experience. Well, Ashley's response was the fact that she was super upset. She was definitely upset. Um, she said that, you know, the whole thing that every single bump fly, it was you disrespecting me. And listen, guys, I'm just giving a quick recap of this, but I'm going to give my opinion on all of this. So just stay tuned for that because, I, you know, I got a few things to say about this couple. But, you know, she was bothered by the main two bonfire, bonfire clips that hurt her when he was telling Trace, forget about Ashley, I want you as my girlfriend and my wife, and I need you in my life. And then when he also told Trace that he loved her. So... She said that she didn't deserve that after seven years. And, you know, she also said that she didn't even see any growth. I didn't see you really, truly love yourself in any of those clips. Um, And then, of course, he claimed I didn't mean no disrespect and all of this stuff, you know. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of the fluff because here's the issue that after her saying all of that, her decision was to leave with LaSalle and work things out. So there was no growth. She claimed, in her words, she felt disrespected. And at the same time, you know, all hurt by all of the clips that he did with Trace. Why would you want to stay in something like that? Now, here's my two cents on that. I think she's trying to push his emotional buttons. She don't want to make it easy for him to go straight to Trace. Because if she's just like, you know what? I, I'm done with you. I hate what you did. You disrespected me. You did this. I don't see any growth. I'm done. It would have been an easy beeline straight to Trace. But she's trying to play games now. Okay, I mean, that's my opinion. She's trying to play games because after saying all of that, why would you want to stay in a relationship with a man that you've been with for seven years who have not taken you to the next level of marriage? And he's already talking marriage and love with somebody else. The only thing I can think of is what she's trying to do here is to get herself in the way, which is going to make it that much harder. It also, in her mind, I, I'm, I'm just assuming, in her mind, it'll make her make uh, him look like the bad guy because it was like, oh my God, you actually chose her over me and I wanted to be with you. It does not look good on her part either way. On the flip side of this thing with um, LaSalle's, he has not moved forward with you for seven years. And usually, I could be wrong, but most men know what direction they're going to go in a relationship, whether it's going nowhere or if it's going to lead to marriage, usually by year two. So if he hasn't moved in five years since that point, that should tell you something. I mean, you came on here to get married and he's pretty much giving you everything you needed to know that you probably aren't that person that's going to be a good, you know, fit with him or, vice, or he's a good fit for you for marriage. 
So why would you want to extend that time? It makes zero sense. Now, as for the whole disrespecting, and I've said this about this show at least multiple times that I've done the recaps on previous seasons. When you come on a show like this and you're giving each other the open door to make connection, just like you making a connection, he make a connection, the possibility, or I should say the probability is going to be great that that's going to happen. So how is it disrespect if you guys are trying to find your independence, which is what you guys both said at the beginning of the season. So if you're now independent, you're no longer a couple, you have the opportunity to meet all these other singles and there you build a connection. Guess what? You open yourself up to that. So I don't know what she expected that she was going to just he was going to sit on the other side, pine over her and say, well, I'm not going to do anything. You can't control another person's actions. She definitely couldn't control his. And to think that that was going to happen, it makes no sense. Just like he can't control her actions. If she chooses to do anything with, um, what's the guy she was with? Uh, I forgot his name, just that quick. But if she decided to be with, um, I think his name is Blake. Um, if she decided to go ahead and, you know, move on with him, there's nothing he truly can do about that. And he allowed her the space to move how she wanted to, but she thought that he wasn't going to do what she thought he was. It was a test for him to see what he was going to do, not to test the relationship and see whether it's strong enough to survive and grow on either side. You cannot go in with a disingenuous agenda. It will blow up in your face each and every time. And unfortunately, he made another connection with Trace that seems to go up far deeper and quicker than the seven years that they actually had together. So if I was her, I, I would make that choice to leave on her own, but she actually left us with the cliffhanger of uh, uh, wanting to continue the relationship that makes zero sense and i don't think with mark Wahlberg, i don't think it made sense to him either so either you know she really truly don't care about what she saw and she wants to be with him or she's playing games it's one of the two you know so let me know what you guys think i know you know the thing is do not go on a show like this where you open up the door for your for your man or your woman to meet somebody else and that connection happens and they leave without you that's the chance you take by signing up for the show so all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye